thanks for joining us here in the Fox 4 Weather Center. Here in the last minute or so, the National Weather Service in Miami has officially issued a severe thunderstorm warning on this cell here in Hendry County. It blew up pretty swiftly, but that's the nature of storms this time of year, especially farther inland. That's where we'll see the best chance for these isolated storms to continue through the evening. Meanwhile, our coastal communities will stay dry. So let's zoom in and take a closer look at this particular warned cell. So this is centered near the Felda area. And as we get a little bit more information on this particular cell, I'm going to go ahead and put a stop on it right there. And there we go. Severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 715. And the cell located just to the east of Felda slowly working its way off toward the south and east around 10 miles per hour. So Immokalee, Ave Maria, you are not expected to be directly impacted by this particular thunderstorm, at least the severe part of it, but you could very well be hearing those rumbles there on the horizon, of course, producing heavy rainfall as well as frequent lightning along with the typical concerns that a severe thunderstorm produces 58 mile per hour wind gust and even the threat for quarter size hail. So this particular cell mainly affecting spots away from our populated communities in Hendry County, something that we will continue to monitor closely. Let's switch gears, take a live look a little farther off toward the south where things are completely opposite. Picture perfect cloud free here from Marco Island. This is from the Hilton Marco Island Beach Resort and Spa located there and just beautiful, not seeing much in the way of cloud cover whatsoever. That's because that sea breeze has forced any cloud cover and thus development farther inland away from the coastline. For the rest of this evening, clear skies will prevail. Best chance for those showers and storms will continue to stay farther inland. And right now on Marco, it's still feeling more like 100 degrees when you factor in that humidity as well as Lehigh Acres. Currently, LaBelle and Immokalee is feeling more like 99. So best chance for those isolated storms staying inland. They will dissipate by 9, 10 o'clock and overnight tonight clear skies are expected. We'll kick off your Thursday morning with mostly sunny skies. Lots of sunshine will prevail for the first half of the day, but a little bit of a change up here. Our winds out of the east are expected to be stronger than those from the west for tomorrow. What does that mean? It means that instead of having inland showers and storms, we're going to see some showers and storms a little closer to the coast for the next couple of afternoons. So heads up for tomorrow and again on Friday as well. We will see the chance not just inland, but also closer to the coast for some of those isolated downpours in the afternoon heading into the evening. Same story as we look ahead to your Friday. Friday, again, a quiet start, lots of sunshine, but heading into your Friday afternoon right here at 3 p.m. That's when we will be tracking those isolated to scattered downpours right along our coastal community. So again, not just inland, but also in more of our populated spots from DeSoto County through Sarasota, Charlotte, Lee, extending into Collier counties. So just a heads up if you do have any Friday evening plans. As for those morning lows, we'll start things off in the upper 60s, lower 70s inland. Low to mid 70s are expected along the coastline. Afternoon high temperatures warming into the mid, even upper 90s flirting with records once again, Punta Gorda, even Fort Myers, it's going to be a close one. Factor in that humidity, it's going to be feeling more like the triple digits here for the next couple of afternoons. Pulling back rain chances a touch Saturday, Sunday, then ramping them back up next week.